Hey you guys, Erica here. Uh, gonna do a quick update on the video. Um, out doing errands and stuff. As you can see, I got one of my kids in the back. Wave, Mari. Say hi to everybody. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so we're on our way to go do a couple things. Um, so, update. Yesterday, I weighed 152.4, and today I weigh 151.8, so that's a 0.6 release. This thing is irritating me. My husband has one of his little flag. He has his Panamanian flag up, and it's like getting in my way. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so that's a 0.6 release, and um, what did I consume? Well, I had... I had um, coffee with my creamer, my caramel macchiato creamer, uh, for breakfast and for lunch. I wish there was a way I could move this thing. I don't know what to do. It's getting on my nerves. Um, for lunch, I had what did I have for lunch? Oh, I had the leftover burger that we got from um, the barbecue um, without the bun, and I had mustard on it. And, and um, I had cucumbers. And then for a snack, I had four strawberries, um, small. Those were the le uh, last ones left that I had in my fridge. And I also had an orange. And then for dinner, I had two steaks. Um, they were thin, thin cut. And um, I had green beans. And then for dessert, I had my rice cake, my two, uh, my rice cakes I had two usually I try to have one but um yeah just had two not because I was I didn't have a um I didn't have a craving or anything it's just I don't know I just wanted it, it was just for no reason there's no reason for me having it but I it's what I wanted so yeah so that's basically my um my update and uh as you guys know, I've been reading this book called Tap, Tapping for Weight Loss and Body Confidence. And one of the things that they talk about in the book is like to achieve per permanent weight loss, it really is an inside job. Um, more so than, you know, anything else, anything that we're doing on the outside. I firmly believe, and I'm probably going to get beat up for this, but... I believe that the Dr. Simeon's protocol, um, and you know, in his book, Pounds and Inches, I really think it's more of a guideline than, than the Bible. I mean, it, to me, it's just something where, you know, you, it kind of gives you a gauge of what you should do, but it's not something that's necessarily written in stone of what you have to do. You know, if you just take my last week where you know past week it's been almost a week that I've been doing kind of my own thing I've been doing pretty well except you know I had one day of you know a goose egg and I'm pretty sure that just had to do with you know I was kind of fixated on a number of what I wanted to be um, instead of just, you know, going with the process. But I've been going with the process of it, and I know that I'm going to get to my goal. I know I'm going to, you know. When it happens, it doesn't even matter because it's going to happen. And I just kind of have that mentality about this whole process now. You know, I'm going to get to where I want to be. My body's going to be shaped the way I want it to be. Why? Because I believe it will be. That's my belief. You know, if you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't, you know? So I just really am kind of using uh, using that as my kind of go-to with this. You know, I'm really working on my mentality, working on what's, you know, going on in the inside and just really making sure that I'm being careful with my thoughts, being careful with uh, my words because I really I mean it's absolutely true the things you say the things that you are thinking if you're thinking it, if you're saying it then of course it's going to come true you know let's say for instance you know you guys all know I had a day you know a couple days of cheating you know I had days where I cheated 
Now let's say on those days I cheated. Prime example would be when I had that egg roll. Let's say I decided to really just, you know, be like, dang, you know what? I am going to gain weight. I'm going to gain, I'm going to gain, I'm going to gain. What do you think is going to happen? What would I think would happen if I continuously said that after I cheated and ate that egg roll? Uh, yeah, that next day, my ass would have gained weight. If I kept saying it, that's exactly what's going to happen. And, you know, I know everyone has their journey. And, you know, I'm starting to really love this journey of mine because I realize, not really realizing, I know this is my journey. And it's going to happen the way that I want it to happen. And so far, so good. You know? Um, I don't... I don't believe, you know, for a second, something I'm doing is, um, especially if I'm consistently making sure in my thought process that everything's going to go the way that it needs to go, that it's supposed to go, then of course, that's the way it's going to be. If I'm professing something because I was, I made a human mistake you know, not to say you should have like three slices of chocolate cake. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying, oh, have three slices and then whatever happens, happens. No. I'm saying if you make a slip up, acknowledge it. I need to acknowledge it. I have been acknowledging it. I've accepted it. Forgive yourself. You know, don't allow that to fester inside of you. Forgive yourself and then move on. You know, let's see what happens tomorrow. Don't sit here and say, oh, I'm going to gain or, oh, I'm going to stall. Because if you're consistently saying it, you're basically professing that's exactly what will happen. You know, you're setting your own future up. I'm setting my own future up. And we all are doing this to lose weight, right? Right. So, you know, the natural thing I would think is if I have to think any way at all, it, it should be in a positive way. So that way, my future will be positive. What happens the next day will be positive. Whatever that scale reflects is going to be positive. I have no issues with the scale at all. None. I think it is a direct link of what, you know, how I look. I can tell 151.8. I look at myself and I'm like, yeah, I do look like someone who's 151.8. In my eyes, for my height, for my body frame, that's exactly how I look. I have zero issues with it. It's an equipment. It's a piece of equipment. <laughs> we kind of give it too much, you know, too much weight there, y'all. You know, myself included that one day when I was tripping about the scale before I even got on it. And it was a reflect. and what happened on that scale was a reflection of what was going on with me the day before. So when we think about that, when we think about, oh shoot, the scale said this or that. Okay, maybe it's not necessarily what we're eating, but it could also be about what we're thinking and what we're saying. Aha, aha, like coming to America. <laughs> but anyways, I just pretty much wanted to say that this is an inside job and I am taking this round as a fun experiment. You know, I'm not expecting anything from it, but positive things. That's it. I'm not professing anything negative for this. And so far, that's exactly what's having, what's going on because I'm saying it, my mind's believing it, and my body is just a direct reflection of what I believe. It's happening, y'all. It is. It's amazing. I love it. And I'm hoping this can help somebody because it's been a big light bulb moment for me. Me and Sarah were talking um, yesterday, and um, gosh, I love that girl. Like, every time we talk, it's like I have some sort of light bulb moment. You know, we both do. It's like we ping pong off of each other. And, you know, this is one of the things that I was saying, you know, and I can't wait till she does a video, you guys. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, mom's the word with her video. But, uh, yeah, I just pretty much wanted to say that this is an inside job. As much as we're focusing on the outward, we need to be focusing on the inward. That's what I'm focusing on. That's my priority, you know? I'm doing it this my way with the eating. You know, I ain't going to starve myself. I'm not 
I'm gonna do it the way I want to do it and within reason and it's working it's working y'all why because I'm happy this is my journey if I mess up I'm acknowledging it I accept it I'm forgiving myself and then move on don't dwell on it no more don't let it fester inside I'm not letting it fester inside okay you guys I'm at 10 minutes I can't wait to see the rest of you guys' videos today. It's a beautiful day in Florida. Earlier today, it was pouring down raining. I don't know if y'all could tell, but I got my hair slicked. Uh, it took like 30 minutes, but yeah, I slicked this like a boss. <laughs> All right, you guys. Love you so much. Can't wait to see your videos. Talk to you later.